Hi, welcome to the 3D Pendant. As we are headed back to school in all various ways this year, I wanted to share some thoughts with teachers and homeschooling parents. If you are familiar with the Montessori method of introducing numbers to young kids, you probably recognize what this is. Golden bead math materials. Yes, you can buy beautiful versions of these online, but they can be quite pricey. So here is a video on how to make your own for a fraction of the cost. Or better yet, have the kids do it. I used to be an aide in Montessori classroom for a while. And when I first saw this visual representation of the numbers, I felt like, why didn't someone show me this when I was little? It makes so much sense. The purpose of this video is not to teach you how to teach this, but how to make your own math materials affordably, especially if you already have a 3D pen. In addition to 3D pen and filament, I will be using 3D Mate mat. I'm going to use this segment of the mat since I want the results to be roughly the same size as the traditional golden cube made out of beads. Yes, you can also just use grid paper, but this makes it so much faster since it is already outlined for you and easy to trace and easy to remove. If you have a kid-friendly 3D pen that doesn't get too hot, and there are more of those on the market by the day, you may want to consider having the kids make their own. Toys and food are always so much more fun if you make it yourself. In that case, I would perhaps recommend using the bigger grid on the mat to make it easier for them to make it. Also, this one is already conveniently 10 by 10 units. So here we go. a bit and trim it at the end to make things come out cleaner but this is entirely optional make 10 for your cube and one extra for your hundred square and then a 10 and one units now for putting it all together if you are making it with a class each kid can make and attach one grid to make it a group project. Thank you. 
will be unruly strands of plastic to remove at the end. I like to burn off mine with a wood burning tool, but if you don't have one, just use scissors. Now all you need is to print out some numbers and you can start having some fun with your math. There are other math toys you can make, like your very own geometric solids. For those, check out my Easy Shape video playlist. Links are in the description. And subscribe to stay tuned for more.